Today, I'm starting a brand new Skyblock account that only has access to the items and locations that were available when Hypixel Skyblock first released all the way back in June of 2019. But every time I gain 10 Skyblock levels, I'll unlock access to the content of the next major Skyblock update in the order that they were released. Of course, getting these levels without access to 90% of the game's content is going to be a bit of a challenge, but I'm never afraid of one of those, so let's get started. And after spawning in on my brand new Skyblock Island, I immediately remembered one of the most painful things about early game Skyblock is just how slow you move around. Like, obviously, this is just vanilla Minecraft speed, but when you've gotten used to, like, a 4,000-hour profile that has maxed out speed at all times, it's a little bit of an adjustment. Thankfully, though, the Rogue Sword, which has an ability to temporarily increase my speed, was an item that existed on day one of Skyblock. And all I had to do to get it was walk over to the Jamie NPC and talk to him. He's gonna give me his boring dialogue lines, and then we can get... The Rogue Sword. This did exist on the first day of Skyblock. This is a valid item for me to have. And now in typical first day of Skyblock fashion, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on farming some wheat to get a little bit of coins. And of course, this will also help to get me some farming XP as well. And after farming wheat for just a couple of minutes, I managed to rack up almost half of a Skyblock level and also made more than enough coins to buy the basic starter items I was going to need. But there we go, Undead Sword for 100 coins. And I also wanted to grab the Promising Pickaxe. All right, now we immediately just wanna get into mining stuff because this will be some free Skyblock levels. And actually, this will also be like the best way for me to progress like combat early game because there's not really any combat stuff I can unlock that are limited to the areas that were available on like the first day of Skyblock, if that makes sense, right? Like on the first day of Skyblock, what's the combat gear that everyone was going for? It was lapis armor. So yeah, we're going to try and progress immediately into like the deep caverns and stuff and work our way into that. And so that's exactly what I did. Progressing my way into the gold mines and then eventually all the way to the deep caverns. Before heading into the Lapis Quarry though, I decided that I wanted to enchant my Undead Sword with Smite 5. That way I could more efficiently farm the zombies for Lapis Armor. While I was grinding XP levels for this upgrade though, I managed to hit my first major milestone. Yo, Skyblock level one, let's go. We are already one tenth of the way to unlocking the first update. After about 10 minutes of grinding graveyard zombies though, I realized that I could just buy XP bottles and Smite books from the librarian NPC, who did in fact exist on day one of Skyblock's release. So I did exactly that. And there we go. Smite five on the undead sword. Let's go. Now we can head back over to the deep caverns and I'm gonna go hunt down some lapis zombies to get myself some armor. Yes, there we go. Lapis leggings, our first armor piece. Let's go. Now we gotta hope we don't get any dupes. Oh, yes, let's go. Another piece. We got the chest plate. Wow, we got the two, like, most important pieces first. All we need now is the helmet and boots. And we got ourselves a full set of lapis armor. Oh, yes. Wait, lapis helmet. Let's go. Wait, I got that exactly as I got the bestiary upgrade. So for a second, I was thinking, like, that that's what the sound was. But I also got the lapis armor helmet. Oh, yes, boots. Let's go. Honestly, full set of lapis armor. I feel like that did not take nearly as long as i thought it was going to that was actually pretty quick the only dupes we got was just two chest plates full set of lapis armor done already that adds in how much defense is this total 120 defense and of course the full set bonus increases my health by 60 and we also get some bonus experience when mining ores not a bad set to have on day one at all we take that we take that now what i want to do though is we're going to go around and just collect a bunch of all the different ores we're going to start with lapis and i'm just going to collect enough to craft like some of the basic minions later on so we can get some of that skyblock xp yo skyblock level two let's go 20% of the way to unlocking our first update. And once I was satisfied with the amount of lapis I had collected, I continued to make my way down through the deep caverns, mining a bit of each ore along the way until I eventually reached the diamond reserve. 
And here, I decided to just grind the mobs for a while in order to drop a full set of minor armor, which would be a pretty big improvement over the lapis armor that I had just obtained. Also, if you're wondering why I suddenly have over 400 XP levels, it's because someone decided to troll me on my stream and splash me with some titanic XP bottles. Which is actually an insane deja vu moment for me because literally four years ago when I did the first ever live stream for my hard mode profile, I had the exact same same thing happened. So I guess Skyblock players never change. Anyways though, after about an hour of grinding, I was able to get everything that I needed. Oh, let's go. Oh my God, we did so good on not getting dupes. Wow. Full set of minor armor is done and I only got a dupe leggings and dupe boots. Even after all of that though, I still wasn't even Skyblock level three, which obviously wasn't helping my progress in this series much. So it was time to switch up my priorities. And I figured that the best way to level up quickly would just be to use all of those materials I had just mined in the deep caverns to craft some minions. Also, just a quick heads up that I recorded a bunch of these clips while I still was kind of getting over a cold. So if I sound sick in some of them, it's because I was. So we can start by making some lapis minions here. We get a tier one and a tier two. Can also go ahead and upgrade the cobblestone minion here. Now we can do a redstone minion as well. There we go, tier three. Then we also should have the mats here to make a zombie minion. There we go. And then we should be able to upgrade this guy as well a couple times. There we go, tier three. And then last one that I really have the stuff here for now is gonna be a skeleton minion and we can only go up to tier two. All right, well, all of that, and I think I literally gained 11 XP. So maybe that wasn't quite the best way for me to be going about getting XP right now. Also, if you look over to the scoreboard and notice that it's been two months since the last time I recorded, yes, that is true. And no, you can't ask me any questions about it. All right, well, change of plans. I'm gonna shift my attention back to farming wheat, and I'm gonna try and get a little bit of Skyblock XP here by getting myself up to farming level nine and see if maybe that works works out like a little bit better for some skyblock xp i mean you can see here farming level six gives me five skyblock xp and then also progressing my wheat collection from three to four was another four skyblock xp and we also get the seeds collection here from three to four so literally in 10 seconds right there i already gained more xp than i did from all of those minion crafts and i am now skyblock level three so only seven more levels and we'll unlock the very first skyblock update and one thing i can do really quickly right now actually to make my life a little bit easier is head over to the farm farm merchant and purchase a rookie hoe because both of these things have actually been in the game since the very first day of skyblock i'm not gonna lie though i did not realize how hard these first 10 skyblock levels even were gonna be without access to like 95 percent of the game's content like i was kind of thinking i was just gonna breeze through these things in like an hour maybe two but uh it's looking like it's gonna take a little bit longer than that there's farming level nine though. That's probably where it stops becoming like super efficient for me to continue doing this. We're only at 26 out of 100 XP towards level four though. Oh my God, these levels, <gasps> these levels are so much harder to get than I thought they were gonna be. Okay, so I guess what I can do next is actually progress over to the barn here because this was here when Skyblock initially started. And then so what I can do is go through and kill all the animals and collect all the different crops in this area, which will obviously progress all of those collections and it will also allow me to craft a couple of minions which we already found out not very efficient but i guess it's better than nothing at this point i honestly have no clue where i'm gonna get all this skyblock xp from Look at that actually, Skyblock level four and I haven't even gone back to do the minion crafts yet. Actually a little bit ahead of schedule, let's go. And actually from the chicken and cows, we get two collections at once because I get raw chicken and feathers. And then from the cows, I get raw beef and leather. So there we go though, combat level 11 and we get 10 Skyblock XP for that. That is very nice. Wait, that actually has me thinking that I should also go ahead and hit farming level 11 because that should be another pretty easy 10 skyblock xp and there we go farming level 11 plus 10 skyblock xp i'm satisfied with what we have accomplished at the barn here i'm gonna head back craft some more minions and we'll see where we stand oh we have an enderman on my island here this is actually <gasps> no <gasps> my coins my coins my coins oh my god Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
<laughs> Wait, please tell me I don't die when I log back in now. Please tell me I don't die when I log back in now. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We are good. Oh my god. Okay, well, I lose the Enderman that was on my island. That's a bit unfortunate. Would have liked to get those Ender Pearls, but I did not want to lose half of these coins. <laughs> oh my god. Let me deposit those into the bank. That could have actually been bad. Okay, wait. In order to craft minions, I'm actually going to need to go ahead and collect a little bit of wood. Thankfully, we can run over here and do that really quickly oh and foraging level one plus five skyblock xp let's go all right let's make some minions so we do the cow minion can i get a second tier of that i think the answer is no let's find out yes the answer is no so just a tier one for now which i'm pretty sure only gives me a singular skyblock xp so not really the most helpful thing in the world we can do a tier one pig minion as well though and then our tier one chicken minion but that is going to be the end of those cannot upgrade any of them like I said, kind of hard to get the materials to upgrade these ones. Now with wheat and stuff though, this should be a totally different story. Like maybe not the highest tier here, but it should at least be decent. There we go. Tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four. That is much better. Still only one skyblock XP for each tier though, huh? What do I need for tier five? Is it okay? Hay bales. We can make some of those. Let's see how high we can get this guy. Okay, only gonna be tier five and still only one skyblock XP even for tier five? Man, I don't know. I just feel like minions are not it for skyblock XP. There's just gotta be way better things I can be doing, right? Anyways, though, let's do the potato minion next. There's tier one, tier two, tier three. Last crop minion out of the bunch here is of course gonna be our carrot minion. I'm assuming this is going to be the same story as the potato one where I can get to tier three. But yeah, then I don't have enough enchanted carrots here to make it tier four. That about does it for all of that XP then. That puts me at 55 out of 100 XP towards level five. Honestly, not bad, not bad. We are almost to the halfway point of getting this first ever skyblock update so next up i think an easy way for me to farm some xp is going to be to grind out some foraging levels here but i need to figure out what kind of tool i'm actually able to use for foraging because obviously using just like my fist here not gonna be too efficient but i honestly have no idea what was available on the first day of skyblock so i gotta do some quick wiki research all right, so the Lumberjack was here on the very first day of Skyblock, so I am able to talk to him. So we'll go ahead and quickly do his quest here just to get him all fully unlocked. And now let's give him the 10 oak wood here. Okay, and he wants to give me the sweet axe here. Now, did this exist? Yes, okay, the sweet axe he's giving me, this also did exist on the first day of Skyblock. So I guess this is what I'm going to be using for my foraging for now. I think I should easily be able to get Skyblock level 5 from doing this and maybe even make a little bit of progress towards level 6. Okay, wait, what am I even doing? I just realized I do not need to be using this sweet axe at all. What I should do is just make a gold axe and go enchant it with efficiency 5. Like, that's the most efficient thing anyway. I, look, guys, I don't know. I think I'm, like, so deep into my brain about trying to figure out all of, like, what was available and what isn't that I, uh, I may have forgotten about the vanilla items that are sometimes useful in skyblock and there we go efficiency five book let's apply that to the axe now now what would be super nice is if i could go over and grind the other types of woods but unfortunately those have all been moved into the park now which obviously did not exist when skyblock first released so that's a bit of an issue for me and the most tragic part is like the other wood types were there when skyblock initially released but they were at a place called the foraging islands which eventually got removed and replaced with the park so kind of puts it in a weird gray area where like maybe i should be able to go to the park and use it but i just think it would feel super cheap to go over and use the park now so i'm just gonna torture myself and only give myself access to oak wood until i get to whatever skyblock level i have to hit to unlock the park update there we go skyblock level five progress is being made all right, foraging level eight. Things are already starting to get pretty slow here. I think I might have to tap out of foraging there. That's about all the foraging I can subject myself to right now. But we did hit skyblock level five and I got 16 XP towards level six. Not too bad. And I should obviously be able to craft a little oak minion as well here now and get a little bit of skyblock xp that way as well there we go oak minion tier three just another three extra xp to add on top of all that and i think i figured out now what i can use to farm a bunch of skyblock xp 
if I'm right about this. Because obviously there are a ton of locations I don't have access to right now, but even in just a few that I do have access to, there should be a lot of fairy souls. And fairy souls actually happen to be an insanely good source of skyblock XP because each one is worth about two XP. So even if I just go through and get the hundred or so that are available in the current areas I have access to, that should still amount to like two full skyblock levels. After getting about 20 or so of the hub fairy souls though, I realized that this process was kind of a huge pain without access to an AOTE or even a grappling hook. But fortunately, there was some very good news that would hopefully solve this issue for me. All right, the good news is that the spider's den did technically exist when Skyblock released, but I am gonna have to put some restrictions on myself because only this part of the spider's den was released with the initial launch of the game. All that stuff over there came way way, way later on into the game's development. But this is very good news because it means I can farm the spiders in here to get my string collection up to 1k and unlock the grappling hook, which will make the process of doing all those fairy souls a lot easier. But my undead sword here does not appear to be a very good weapon for taking out these spiders. But if I can get my spider eye collection to two here, which only takes 100 spider eyes, I'll be able to craft this spider sword, which will obviously be a much better option. I'm still just getting totally beat up here though. Maybe I need to apply some enchants to this armor. Wait, I'm just realizing now this miner armor is literally terrible if I'm not inside of a mine. I am definitely gonna go ahead and just switch back to my lapis armor. It's just not even like a competition between these two. The lapis armor is just way better. Look at this. The miner armor was literally giving me only five defense per piece. The lapis armor is like 10 times better. What the heck? Yeah, look at this. I mean, I'm still taking some damage from the spiders and stuff, but nothing like I was when I had just the miner armor on. Hey, there we go. All right, spider eye collection level two and we unlock the spider sword, which will be very helpful for these guys. Let's go craft that. All I need is one stick, two spider eyes, and boom, there we go, the spider sword. Of course though, I do also wanna grab some coins from my bank account here and then head over to the librarian and buy 16 of these Bane of Arthropods books so that I can make a Bane 5 book to put on the sword. And there we go, Bane 5 on the spider sword. In theory, this thing should be way, way better than that Smite 5 Undead Sword I was using before, but uh, let's go find out. Oh yeah, way more damage. Like these 300 health ones that were taking me like seven hits to kill before, I can now kill in just two hits. So definitely a much needed improvement with this thing. So now I just need to grind out that 1k string collection, which we're already halfway to. So with this new and improved weapon, that should not take too much longer. Hey, and there we go, string collection four. So I now have unlocked the grappling hook and we can finally get out of the spider's den here. That was actually a bit more work than I thought it was going to be considering that, that was only 1K string collection. Cause back in the day, you used to not get grappling hook until 10K string collection here, which was a pretty crazy grind. Anyways, now all we have to do is go ahead and make three enchanted string here. And then we just go like this. And boom, there we go. We now have the grappling hook. This is going to make getting fairy souls insanely easier. And after about an hour and a half of fairy soul collecting, I had now brought my total up to 107 fairy souls. So if we're halfway to level seven right now, after I turn in all of these fairy souls, I should be halfway to level nine. So let's just head over to Tia here and start turning all of these in. I guess I only had 92 left to turn in, so will be a little short of that 200 I was predicting, but we are definitely getting a ton of Skyblock XP right now. My God. And the last one, boom, there we go. That brings me up to Skyblock level eight and I have 32 XP already towards level nine. So we are getting very close to level 10 and that first update unlock. And I actually already have a plan to get a bunch more XP right now. Because one of the things I totally forgot about for some reason is accessories. And even though there weren't a lot in the early days of Skyblock, there was still enough of them that it definitely is worth going for right now. And so of course the first ones I'm gonna go for here are like the easiest to get ones that the adventurer Cells. So we grab the zombie talisman, the skeleton talisman, the village affinity talisman, the mine affinity talisman, the intimidation talisman, and the scavenger talisman. And then I believe I just need to go ahead and put those in my accessory bag. 
And just like that, another 18 Skyblock XP and we are halfway to level 9. And then next up here, I just need a little bit of wheat and seeds. We craft some hay bales and we can make the farming talisman. So another 3 XP right there. And I actually leveled up my seeds collection while I was doing that. So we got 7 XP right there. Next up is the vaccine talisman, which I need 9 poisonous potatoes for. So I just need to kill a bunch of these graveyard zombies over here. And there we go, nine poisonous potatoes. Actually took quite a bit longer than I would have thought it was going to, but still not too long. But there we go, vaccine talisman created and another three skyblock XP there. And I'm actually up to 65 XP total because I got five bestiary levels while I was doing that as well. Next up though is the talisman of coins, which I think I actually have everything I need for just in my ender chest right here. Because we just need five gold and 20 emeralds. And then we go like this and boom talisman of coins and another three skyblock xp then we have the feather talisman which i am literally three feathers short on so let's get those quickly one two and three then we just do this oh i am now realizing that i am not a high enough feather collection to get this i'm actually almost 900 feathers away from unlocking it so i guess that's gonna have to be one we revisit down the line next up though we have the potion affinity talisman which should just be insanely free to get if i just come to the hub here and just break all of the nether wart right here i think this alone might be enough to get it for me okay wait i actually do have enough nether wart but once again i do not yet have the collection unlock thankfully this one is super easy to get so one one more hub and we should have it oh yeah look at this one is like totally full this is definitely gonna get me there there we go nether wart collection three and actually all those nether wart collections are gonna be huge for skyblock xp as well and boom potion affinity talisman and next up now we have the magnetic talisman which i'm just a bit short on emeralds for so we need to head back to the deep caverns and now we just grab some emeralds once again, I think I don't have the recipe. Yeah, okay, I need another 102 emeralds to unlock the recipe. You know, you would have thought the second time that happened to me, I would have learned my lesson, but apparently not. I really don't mind having to grind out the collections though, because I get the skyblock XP for leveling the collection up. I get some XP towards like one of my skills, like in this case, mining. And it also gives me some extra resources that I can use towards like minion crafts and stuff as well. So it actually helps me work towards progress on a lot of different things at once. And there we go, emerald collection level three, another four skyblock xp and i should now hopefully be able to craft this thing yes there we go magnetic talisman and actually this one isn't uncommon so that should give me plus five skyblock xp when i put it in my bag okay and last up now we have the gravity talisman which i'm actually gonna need to go ahead and make a diamond pick here in order to be able to get because i need 144 obsidian for it so we'll head back over to my friend the librarian here and buy 16 of these efficiency one books and efficiency five diamond pick oh and we hit enchanting eight off of that which actually got me up to skyblock level nine and my minion right there just got me another four skyblock xp from leveling up my cobblestone collection i am finally getting xp at like an actual decent rate but anyways now it's time to mine some obsidian which i'm just realizing now that this is gonna be quite the process isn't it and there we go, Obsidian Collection 3, 4 Skyblock XP, and I unlocked the Gravity Talisman. Now we just put a bunch of Obsidian in here, and boom, there we go, Gravity Talisman. So once again, an Uncommon, so that's 5 Skyblock XP as well for that. And I actually got a ton of XP from leveling up the collections and stuff too, so we are now at 40 out of 100 XP towards level 10. That pretty much does it though for the easy to get accessories that were available on day one though. So in order to get the rest of this XP, I'm gonna have to focus on grinding up collection levels, getting minion crafts, and of course leveling up my skills as well. So first I'm just gonna focus on getting all of the mining collections to a minimum of level three because I feel like that's somewhat reasonable to do if I just did it for obsidian, which should in theory be like the hardest one. So we'll start with coal. All right, and there's coal level three. Next up, I will do iron, which I'm gonna want the smelting touch pick back for. And there we go, iron three. So now I'm gonna move on to gold. And there's gold level three. Now the rest of mining collections, I do already have at level three minimum, but I feel like I have a couple easy redstone levels left here. So I'm gonna go down there and work on that. And I also wanna get enough XP to hit that next mining level. So I feel like this is maybe the place to be. 
Boom, there's mining level 11, 10 skyblock XP for that. And so with that, I'm only 17 XP away from hitting level 10. So let's head back to my island here and see if I can do some minion crafts maybe. So there's another tier for my redstone minion. There's another tier for my lapis minion. Can go ahead and craft an iron minion here. And I actually have enough cobble here to go ahead and do two upgrades for my cobblestone minion. And then I can make a tier two diamond minion a tier one obsidian minion, a tier one emerald minion, a tier two coal minion, and a tier two gold minion. Okay, that's all for the mining minions though, but I'm only four XP away. I think I can figure out a couple more minion crafts I can still do here. We'll do another wart one. Okay, and then I think the string and spider eyes I have here will be enough to finish it off for me. Cause I can use all this string here to make a couple tiers of spider minions really easily. And I just need one more XP. And thankfully I can use these spider eyes here to make a cave spider minion. And boom, there we go. Skyblock level 10 complete. Finally, I have done it. That took way longer than I expected. Literally just the first 10 skyblock levels. And I think that might've taken me like 10 hours of gameplay. I. I was just not anticipating it taking that long. I am not gonna lie to you guys. But with that, I have officially unlocked access to the first major Skyblock update, which of course is the end. So next episode, I'll be attempting to find ways to grind out 10 levels there. But yeah, that is the end of Skyblock Evolution episode one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.